now and again I like to complicate my life a little and do a 3D project instead of uh, something on the paper, like art journaling, which I absolutely love. Uh, but today is the day, making 3D projects. It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Stay tuned! I still do a lot of things on budget using what I have at home. So as you can see, this is, um, you know, uh, the board from a block of uh, cardstock. Cardstock, yes. Um, so I am, I cut it to the size I wanted. Well, it's not actually a really a proper size. I just cut it. I wanted something long and uh, not very white. And I cover it with uh, white gesso. Uh, on top of that, I'm gonna add a little bit of stencil. This is one of my stencils, uh, which are available in my shop. Uh, link, of course, in the description box below. And I'm adding a little bit of paste to that. Uh, not waiting really uh, until it dries. Um, you know, doing it from both sides. It's not the perfect uh, stenciling, uh, but it will work because I'll cover a lot of that uh, anyway with embellishments. And when the paste, well, while the paste is still uh, wet, I'm adding a little bit of uh, small uh, art stones. Small because the big ones wouldn't hold, uh, I guess, you know, or just on the paste. Um, my focal or my main focal point will be this beautiful uh, star uh, cluster from a creative embellishment. This thing I've had for a few years already and I, I loved it so much I always was afraid to use it. I said today is the day. <laughs> and I'm adding a little bit of stars from Finavar, um, you know, stars I made with the malts and um, also as you've seen the bits of laces I got from my friend uh, Frau Pony. Uh, they are Swiss lace. I also was afraid to use it. And I'm trying it with a heat gun very close, the high setting, very close to the surface, because like that uh, I get the bubbles, if I'm lucky enough. Not the big ones, but the small ones, it's what I wanted. Mm, the big ones will disappear if you kind of uh, either touch it with the heat gun or just poke it with something sharp, but the small ones will stay and it will add another bit of texture. You know me, I'm all about texture. So uh, that's it and I'm gonna apply a layer of gesso on that, on top of that. For the small uh, intricate embellishments I'm using heavy gesso from Finavar because it's not really very heavy. So that works fine. Later you're gonna see me replacing with, uh, for some elements I'm gonna be using um, super heavy gesso from uh, Liquitex which is really, really dense. And I'm placing all the embellishments uh, with 3D uh, mud gel perfect for placing bigger embellishments because it stays really in place uh, with time, not as a heat gun. Heat gun is, has a tendency to actually uh, unglue itself, the elements, from time to time. And I'm adding uh, a little bit of uh, bigger art stones. I haven't used art stones for a long time. <laughs> I think they were missing me, so you know, with this project I'm going with two, with a small one and with the big ones, why not? And I'm just dipping the brush in the uh, 3D mud gel and uh, then in the in the stones and just placing it like that. Uh, majority of them, really big majority of them, if you add enough glue, they will stay. There will be few, maybe, I don't know, on this tag, maybe like five of them and got actually, didn't got well, uh, well attached and they fell, but the rest really stay, um, uh, stay glued to the tag, which is super. I don't like things falling off. And now uh, the thing I really like and I really hate at the same moment, so it's the texture paste, is the crackle paste from Finavar. I love it because I love to have crackles. And so if you add a, a tiny layer, uh, you know you're not gonna get too many crackles. So that's why as you can see I kind of splash it off <laughs> with the big chunks so I can get a bigger crackle. What, what I hate about it is the fact that I have to basically wait overnight before coming back to the projects because the crackles, you know, they will work like that. If you dry it with a heat gun, you will get almost no crackles at all. And for um, 
a little black accents and as you see I'm adding the black accents uh, just beside the clusters of um, of small elements to make a little bit of shadowing I'm using um, this is just a normal very cheap um, acrylic paint uh, from um, French company company uh, oh, I don't remember the name it's gonna be just down below probably in the description box or you can just unwind and tip uh, a little bit the uh, movie to see it uh, but I use this pe uh, this uh, acrylic because you know it comes in a big volume so I can use it a lot and it is actually quite nice to work with and now I'm adding a snowflake uh, acrylic chalk acrylic from uh, paperazzi which will give me uh, a little bit of nicer white finish I wanted still to have this nice white um, no surface in the places where I will not add paint and so I decided to add paint um, you know only not not covering all the tack because this is not always a nice thing to, to do to cover all the tack um, in these small nooks and crannies you know when you have a darker shade of paint and then a little bit uh, you know towards your focal point and the other um, embellishments and then if you leave uh, the rest you know like a negative space white or um, I don't know white in my case uh, it's gonna look very nice and as you can see I'm adding the paint I am spraying a little bit of water so like that it runs freely because it's actually acrylic so it, this is uh, acrylic from uh, paper arts once again chalk acrylics I absolutely uh, love them and I also remove the excess if I find there is too much with the baby wipe uh, or uh, damp cloth you can do it uh, again and you see the darker color I am adding I'm also uh, trying to add following the uh, black traces already I've made with the paint so basically making a tiny bit of shadowing on the tack and um, I love it the the way it goes you know the paint just sticks in this small uh, as I said nooks and crannies and it looks really nice it adds depth to the to the whole project I find and uh, you know if you always um, or always if you at some point find out that you have too much uh, paint you can still cover it either with white acrylic or with gesso or try to still remove it as much as you can see either with the uh, damp cloth or maybe using the spray so you know you can play and play and play until you're happy with it so uh, to add a little bit of metal accents I use the brushed iron and I'm not sure if this is the color which is faulty in my case because sometimes products come faulty you know it happens but I I find that it makes actually mess it's not a nice silver it's kind of a dark silver doesn't give too much sparkle uh, like the shine not sparkle shine so finally I went with the uh, gold one uh, gold wax uh, against my wishes because I wanted to keep it with the uh, blues and silvers and because I didn't actually have the silver color at hand, um, you know, I, I went with the golden one. Uh, it's fine, but I think it would be much better with the, with the silver one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm wondering, but I kind of imagine, um, you know, moon with silver. Well, of course, moon is more silver than anything else. But that's why I also use this wax is not very very gold very strong so it works uh, it kind of works with the project um, that's it guys I also add a tiny bit of um, how do you call it the glitter a little bit of glitter I'm not sure why it's not on the movie but just a tiny tiny bit and you can see it here and uh, that's it uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so uh, already and hit the bell button to be notified about my upcoming videos and uh, thank you so much once again for watching and commenting and I wish you all a beautiful beautiful day and see you soon in my next video big hugs bye bye